Yes. I just caught a fish and it snapped my rod. Got him the best angler. <laughs> what a joke. Today we're out here uh, doing some uh, deep base and crappie fishing. The screen's loaded right now. Uh, this is just kind of a little dink. Nice eater sized crappie. Uh, we're just gonna get them right back. There's fish everywhere. My rod snapped. I mean, my screen's empty, but they're everywhere, if that makes sense. I'm just hand lining it right now. I'm already tied, you know. I set the hook so hard, I snapped the rod. Wow, he's storming. Got him. Nice. We're using an ultra sensitive hand um, and this new uh, little secret lure, uh, courtesy of Cody Fossum. Four bright red marks. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That is gorgeous. That's big. Nice. It's the new, uh, I think it's new this year, Acme Google Eye, crappie size. It's got a little rattle chamber in there, tungsten. Should we drill two holes right next to each other here? Yeah, a couple more in here or something. Uh, hooked up. Right on. Right on. Are you doubled up? Yeah. This is a little bit bigger. So is this. Oh, crap. Sweet. I think yours is bigger. <laughs> nice that is nice this is a comparison this is a uh, crappie in training <laughs> and uh yeah that's mama bear <laughs> oh crap they're still down there there's so many there is this they're riddled dead. it is so we're fishing a little bit deeper water so we're trying to be very conscious of uh how good these some of these fish are kicking off we didn't really want to keep fish but we're obviously not gonna just throw back a dead fish. There's, ev there's fish everywhere. They're everywhere. There are down there, they're everywhere. <laughs> this is what dreams are made of. Yeah. This is a big fish. This is, all right, it's not that big. Nice crappie. I have no Hold time. Hold on a sec. Okay. Oh, I almost lost him. <laughs> Did you? Most important thing we can do right now when these schools come through is try to rapidly get back down there. So I don't know if you can see on this flasher cam how these fish are still hanging around. And now I'm dropping back down and they're still- Another 10, 11 incher. <sighs> That's Great huge. Great looking fish. So we're just gonna try to keep active. Like boom, I got a fish. Now Cody's gonna get down there and then we just want to constantly keep these. There's still a couple down there. Mine are significantly smaller. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Oh, but that's why I'm sitting closer to the camera. My minnow head is kind of gummy. There's another one. I'm gonna try to hurry up and get back down there. Is that a good one? I think it's smaller. Okay, I got one mark still just barely on screen. We're just trying to pick the school apart. That's all you can really uh, ask for. Sack me rattle, Google eye is working just wonders. Yeah, so I got one. I still got a bigger mark coming up to me right now. Oh, 
missed it. I might have lost my minnow. Oh, he's still there. Got him. This is a smaller one. Definitely a small one. There's still two marks down there. I got issues. Boom. Dink. And now the school is... Holy buckets. They're everywhere. This is going to be just, just one after another. You back in business? Yeah. Oh, wow. This is insane. This is like a picture perfect crappie fishing experience. Yeah. And let me tell you, that's not a bad little crappie. I think I just cracked his jaw. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> I always support your fish. Nice emerald green back. Look at that thing. I'm Let's having see. issues. I don't know what's going on. Maybe my minnow's gone. My minnow is hanging on by the retina. Oh, what'd I say? Minnow's gone. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least we know they're not going to eat bare hooks. Uh, cross that off the list things to try <laughs> what is that you see that what coming off bottom no I didn't see it I think it just smacked you just your typical crappie <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to pull out like a burbot or something <laughs> the way that thing shot off bottom here we go, try it again. Just dance it right above its head. Take two. Hooked up. Still got a mark down there. Oh wow, this thing feels heavy. Does it? Yeah. I can hardly reel. Nice. Oh, it's, just, it's not even that big. <laughs> Damn it. Typical dink. Popped its eyes right out of its socket. I think this one came from a little bit deeper water. Throw in the pile over here. Yeah, it's a little googly eyed right now. So that's a surefire way to say that this fish is probably not going to make it. But that's okay. That's a good eater. I mean, if we were out here and we were catching like 14, 15 inches this deep, that's one thing, you know, to where you start questioning like, okay, how many fish do you really catch? School is back. Down there. School is back. School is back in session. Another nine, ten incher. Is this a big girl? Looks like it. Oh, jeez. Is that a double? Yeah, we're doubled up. <laughs> this one might have some shoulders. Jeez. Fighting like crazy. Is it? What do you got? Yeah. Huh. Not too bad. I'm gonna take this opportunity to use the one shot. Is it called a one shot? Oh. I didn't see any marks, but I forgot I didn't put the deucer down. Alright, Cody. Alright, Brett. Top three crappie lures. Well, I think I'm gonna have to go with uh, this new one. I'm really liking it. Yeah. The new Acme. The new Acme, uh, what was that again? Google Eye. The new Acme Google Eye. Any tungsten, it's hard to beat. Just the small profile. The small profile of a tungsten, but with the weight be able to get down there don't have to worry about a sinker don't have to worry about a sinker which is really nice yeah just like you're using just that fire tiger clam no clam drop well that's a dozer all right so if I were to go out with three lures for crappie fishing, tungsten would be my top pick. 
spoon, small spoon. Yeah, I've had uh, some luck on a small uh, VMC Tingler spoon. And maybe like a slab wrap, really small rattle little, bait. Little one, yeah. Or like the Z-Vibe. That's a good one. Um, yeah, I think that would be your three go-to. Obviously, you can't beat a can't beat a hook in a minnow, but job wrap. Thanks. I for sure he had my minnow, but then he started engaging again. Uh, high quality crappie. We got another pack of pack of wolves down there. There's one racing up to. Nice. There's one that, this one's really small. It's a low quality crappie. It's the future generation. Really only fished this like a handful of times. So every time we come out here, it's kind of a new experience. And there's never anybody out here. Not a soul. So approaching the lake, we first go to the spot where we've caught crappies which was typically like kind of a 50, 50 foot transition that goes down to like a 60 foot basin. That's really deep and it seems like every time we do find fish over there, they're really lethargic, they're moving really slow. So we thought, you know, there's gotta be other spots around the lake. Picked a couple, you know, 30 foot basins um, where on like most lakes, that's kind of where you'd find your crappies. And then we ended up finding like a 35 foot recession within the 30 foot basin. So it's 30 feet all around and you can see it on the map. And then all of a sudden there's just this small little bowl where it just dips in a couple feet and it's a bowl within the basin. So a basin within the basin. Oh, maybe I'll get one. Oh. <laughs> Came kind of rushing up. I didn't even see him on my screen. He was higher. Ooh, look Ooh at the it feels fight. heavy. Ooh. Is this a big girl? About the size we've been catching. Yeah. <laughs> Another one for the pan, as they say. Another one for the grease. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing a catch and cook. Not with grease. I'll do something else. Cook like, it on a stick. Yeah, like maybe like cook it on an exhaust pipe. Oh, here we go. Here we go. How many more Is do that we need? It? Are you done? Do I got to reel up? Left my mitts on. I don't know. It might come off. Of course like, not. The keeper choked it. Yep. We're done. We're done. The reason why we're going to be done, even though we're still getting bites, is uh, we caught our limit and there's no sense of catching fish that we're going to kill. Makes sense, right? Makes sense to me. I mean, no sense catching fish that are just going to swim away and die. Yeah.